The following movie is rated R. Next on HBO, a beautiful investigator is assigned to stop a murdering ex-Navy agent she knows all too well. Excessive Force 2, Force on Force. It's not TV, it's HBO. Next. This Saturday on HBO, it's not orderly. We're way beyond lawyers now, Eddie. It's not predictable. Good, I got your attention. It's not what you expect. This Saturday night, it's the HBO original movie, Mistrial at 8. Followed by HBO's new sketch comedy, Mr. Show at 9.30. This Saturday, it's not TV, it's HBO. From director Forrest Whitaker. If this man isn't the one, at least let me dance till I sweat. Before you find a prince, you have to kiss some frogs. Before you give up, close your eyes, hold your breath, and know. He's watching. <laughs> you won't have to wait forever. Whitney Houston, Angela Bassett. The Lord knows you deserve it. Waiting to exhale. Premier Saturday, November 16th, exclusively on HBO. Who was the guy that brought chills up and down your spine when he came onto the floor? The greatest player you ever saw. That would have to be the goal. HBO Pictures presents a film based on the true story of the greatest player the world has never known. These courts have produced some of the finest players in the world, and not one of them can hold a candle to you. The boy I'm waiting for is 10 feet tall. He walks on air and calls himself GOAT. My man here is a money in the bank guaranteed future superstar. What the hell's going on out here? Don't blow this! You got a chance to get a college education, move on into the NBA. I think I'm pregnant. Two hits up each nostril, first class ticket anywhere you want to go. When the realities of life don't give up, take you out of the game. Here it is. All you need, all you want. I don't want this shit, LeGrand. It takes a true hero to rebound. Don Cheadle, James Earl Jones, Eric LaSalle, and Boris Whitaker. Rebound premieres Saturday, November 23rd on HBO. Late on a Saturday night, the action gets hot. HBO Boxing After Dark. Powerful heavyweights, Kirk Johnson versus Terry McGrew. World featherweight champ, Kevin Kelly versus undefeated Edwin Santana. Live Saturday, November 16th on HBO. Some of the best in the business work the night shift. What happens when fantasies go too far? Kyle Medford's dead. Oh my God, I just saw him today. She's got no alibi and we got a prince on the hatchet. Found a roll of film in Medford's safe. Freeze it right there. Magnify it. Mrs. Gavin, is that you on the tape? David Caruso, Chaz Palmentieri, Linda Fiorentino. She couldn't get enough of it. She loved it. An erotic thriller from the writer of Basic Instinct and the director of The French Connection. How could you let them do this to you, Trina? They didn't do anything to me, David. It was my choice. I cheated on my husband. I didn't know I could be arrested for it. Jade. Premieres Wednesday, November 6th on HBO. Big things happen on Sundays. Gene and Barbara cheer for the home team on a Sunday. John and Kirsty have a few words with the little one on a Sunday. Mel and Danny get a new partner on a Sunday. And Sally and Paul take the boat out on a Sunday. Because every Sunday at 8 is when we put on our Sunday best. Movies that rise far above the rest and outshine all others. Sunday best movies are nothing less than spectacular. The Sunday best movie, every Sunday at 8 on HBO. Big day, big movie, big enough to make you forget tomorrow's Monday. Don't miss our next Sunday best, Hoosiers, at 8 on HBO. You know, when I contacted the folks at HBO about uh, producing a television series for that network, they said, oh, that's great, Dave, that's fine, we'd love to have you do that, but uh, have you ever produced a television show in your entire life? 
And I said, oh yeah, like I guess the Tony Awards happened by accident, year after year after year. <laughs> so anyway, they uh, tossed about $60 million my way, and the result is a little something we call the High Life here. Take a look. It's the 1950s. We are the future. And here in Pittsburgh, life is pretty good. It's a cruel, ugly world. That's me. My name is Emmett, and this is my buddy, Earl. All you need is a gimmick in this world. I understand you're selling unlicensed crocket hats. And the money comes flying in like a horny rooster. It was a simple, more innocent time. They're coming. I see a squad car. The high life is about a world of people who believe in the high life, the Eisenhower years in the 50s. The show is about what happens when these people run up against the real world. You blew all the vacation money? Every last cent of it, plus a little extra. Poof, gone history. Uh on what? Rock salt. It's uh, about a couple guys in Pittsburgh just trying to, uh, you know, make their way through life as best they can. One guy's terribly concerned about the way they do it, the other guy's not, and he's, um, you know, looking for shortcuts all the time. What do those half-wits at the barbershop do for charity? They fundraise for the blind. The tire palace. Heart disease? Well, unfortunately, my present schedule does not permit charity work. Excuse me? Your schedule? Between this place and the track, I barely got time to take care of my own business. The logic of a farm animal. Oh, I don't know. Like, he's pretty funny. That's I mean, okay. I think, yeah, yeah, it's a real good balance. No, that, that's a good way to put it. Like, he's the buffoon kind of character, and I'm more or less the, you know, the likable sort of... The leading man. I'm sitting in the middle of a restaurant, eating a lamb chop, and suddenly there's a hand grabbing me. People were looking. I think I did pretty well under the circumstances. Emmett and Earl, who own the storage company, keep getting themselves into trouble. So that's always the sort of catalyst for it getting into racism or, or poverty or, or, you know, anything big. And then all these characters who come in are all just Ice cream, wacko. ice cream, everyone likes ice cream. <gasps> are you a communist? My head itches, so I'm gonna go sit in the alley, okay? All right, boys, who's your pal? Uh, I'm the gatekeeper, basically. I give them horrible advice and they take it and uh, go on their adventure. I usually know somebody. I've got a buddy. I got a buddy. I got a buddy. This guy, Putty. It's not always the best wisdom, but it's a... Uh... Digger Reese runs a cemetery up on the hill. May be able to cut you a deal. Great, Rudy, give old Digger a jingle. I got a funeral to plan. To Digger. To Digger. To Digger. Rudy's Top Hat Lounge, I think, was the working title for a long time. The original con concept of the High Life was just an name show, Claude, and they were going to have... Uh, eight different episodes of half-hour shots of my face. We're having a few problems on the set. Hey, bud. You know, I mean, just turn that off. A11, take one. What it is, is there's some egos that are just raging. Turn the thing off, will you? And action. There. Screw polio. My sanity is new charity around here. I have to agree that Irene and Doris have been... Uh, basically, the show is just something that Dave's accountants called me about, his business people. They said he needs to hide a little money. Could you, like, whip up some kind of show? I said, fine. I honestly don't think Dave knows anything about the show. I don't even think he has cable, quite frankly. To America, the greatest goddamn country in the world. The High Life, a new series, premiering Saturday, November 9th. Only on HBO. And by the way, if you like the new series, please try my line of frozen yogurt, available at fine supermarkets everywhere. Thank you. Gary Shandling meets with HBO to discuss this season's promotional campaign. Let's just think about some things. Super Larry. Larry Animal Trainer. Larry's Chinese Laundry. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. How about this? The Larry Poncho. That sickens me. I'd buy this. I mean, this is great. It's for hiking. Let me put it a different way. That sickens me. It's a whole new season of The Larry Sanders Show. Premieres Wednesday, November 13th, only on HBO. What time is it, folks? It's time to watch The Larry Sanders Show. You're watching the What to Think Network. Are you guys ready for another fantastic new product? Then try Mr. Show's Fantastic Newness, the comedy program that really works. If these hilarious highlights from last season don't give you the results you're looking for, then you're crazy. It's that simple. Act now. And starting November 15th, you'll receive Mr. Show's brand new season as our special gift. It's Mr. Show's Fantastic Newness. Premieres Saturday at 9.30, only on HBO. 
Anniversary wishes from the Buffalo Bills. I'd like to wish Inside the NFL a happy 20th anniversary. To everyone at Inside the NFL, happy 20th anniversary. Happy 20th anniversary to Inside the NFL. I guess after 20 years you don't need to practice. Well, maybe Chris does. 20 years and still going strong. Inside the NFL, the 20th anniversary season. Every Thursday night at 11 on HBO. 20 years, congratulations. Wow, time really flies when you're not fumbling. Hey, look, folks, I'm as sick of this campaign as you are, except I'm doing something about it. Right here on HBO, I'll be anchoring not necessarily the elections, a very jaded, very biased view of the political process, and a whole lot more. I mean, really, really biased. Not necessarily the elections live with Emmy Award winning Dennis Miller. Premieres Friday night at 11.30, only on HBO. You're gonna love it. It's biased. HBO Saturday Nights. A new movie every week guaranteed. Holy moly. Plan on it every Saturday night. Give me all you got! Always a new movie. And this Saturday is no exception. Bill Pullman, Robert Loggia, Blair Underwood. From HBO NYC, Mistrial. This is a cop gun. Then on November 9th, Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson, Money Train. We both hit it. Then November 16th, Whitney Houston, Angela Bassett, waiting to exhale. Make the night beautiful. And on November 23rd, HBO Pictures presents Rebound, the legend of Earl the Goat Many Goat. At least I'm a go knowing that I was trying to do something right. And the future is guaranteed too. All new movies, all in one place. The only guarantee on television. Saturday nights on HBO. With summer behind us, Hollywood is bringing out the big guns of fall. Eh, you were expecting maybe the Easter Bunny? Thrillers dominate the rundown between now and Thanksgiving. For starters, Hugh Grant battles Gene Hackman in the medical mystery Extreme Measures. You tortured and murdered those men upstairs. If you can cure cancer by killing one person, wouldn't you have to do that? Hugh's girlfriend, Elizabeth Hurley, produced the film. Yeah, she was always waking me up in the middle of the night and saying, okay, now I know how you should do that scene. Uh, it was, it was, drove me nuts. Oh, yes, frequently. But he would also wake me in the middle of the night saying, I don't like my trailer, it smells or something. Do something about it. But I'm going to save you. You don't look like you could save a turkey from Thanksgiving. Hackman also turns up in yet another John Grisham tale, The Chamber, with Chris O'Donnell. But does the release this summer of A Time to Kill mean viewers might want a break from Grisham? It don't mean nothing! Get up a bit! This film is, is, is serious, and if you're entertained by that seriousness, good. You know, but um, I don't think they set out to make a thriller. This is your ransom. This is as close as you'll ever get to it. Instead, I'm offering this money as a reward on your head. Box office handicappers give an edge to the Mel Gibson nail-biter Ransom. Rene Russo and Delroy Lindo co-star. People who I've spoken with said that the film really works as an edge-of-your-seat kind of thriller. Ah! Give me back my son! In The Long Kiss Goodnight, Gina Davis plays a teacher with amnesia, forced to face her past life as a government hit woman. My name was Samantha Kane. No, 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 forget all that. I'm in the DTA. Then quit! Davis would just as soon forget the freezing Toronto weather. It was so cold that my face was stuck in one position, and I thought, well, how am I going to act? How, how do you register emotions when your face is just like a block of ice? I literally couldn't move it. It was so funny. Shakespeare gets an MTV sound and look when Leonardo DiCaprio, Claire Danes, and John Leguizamo star in Romeo and Juliet. It's really rock and roll. It's, it's fast moving. How about we go out and kick some alien butt, huh? Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny team for Space Jam. Barbara Streisand and Jeff Bridges get romantic in The Mirror Has Two Faces. I'm not interested in sex. Does anybody want coffee? Liam Neeson plays IRA founder Michael Collins, and Tom Hanks directs That Thing You Do. Come on, pretty baby. You've got the number seven record in the country. <laughs> there isn't an actor around who hasn't been sitting around on some movie saying, man, these people don't know what they're doing. I could do so much of a better job than these people are doing. Well, I suggest you try it. All that plus Star Trek First Contact. 
And that only takes us through Thanksgiving. The line must be drawn here. Being a transit cop in New York is no joke. You're dealing with family issues. Actually, we're foster brothers. Relationships. Hey, I hope that's your gun. And work problems. That's what it is. You're busted. But it's the commute that'll kill you. Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes. Money Train premieres Saturday, November 9th, exclusively on HBO. father was killed for the secrets he kept. It appears that something is missing that we'd like to locate. Now they're after the son for answers he doesn't possess. Where is it? I don't know what the guy is about! Why is everybody so interested in this package? You're not paranoid if everyone's out to get you. Christopher Plummer, The Conspiracy of Fear. The Friday World Premiere, November 8th on HBO major motion movies. Behind every murder, there's a story to tell. And every victim has a secret to share. But sometimes, those secrets are buried deep within their grave. Listen as the voices of the dead reveal their fate and hear their cry. You can't get away with murder. An all-new America Undercover. Autopsy 3. Voices from the Grave. Premieres Tuesday, November 5th on HBO. Premeditated murder. Two cops. They found these bullets in his pocket, and we have our guy. You call that an illegal search. Have you reached a verdict? Not guilty. Everybody, stay calm. We're going to retry Mr. Edward Rios. I want ESU squads at the back entrance of the courtroom. Now. Oh, oh. You are guilty. Are you my executioner? Premiere Saturday night at 8 on HBO. HBO. Something special's on in October.